Hey there, welcome to day 1,537 of What Shift Now. Sharon Hornells from here, sharing my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And today for, for Super Size Your Business, we talked about cross to bear or to bear one's cross or to carry one's cross. And it's Good Friday, so it was a good uh, idiom for today. We're, we're doing spiritual idioms for the month of April as a tie into the annual BU 365 Day Challenge. BU 365 Day Challenge, today's topic was spiritual lessons learned. And I shared actually 30 lessons from a woman under 30. It was actually in the Life Goals magazine. I invite you to listen to uh, day 105 of our BU 365 Day Challenge on the Sharon Horn Elstrom page or message me and I will send you the link because this article was so wise for somebody that's only 30 years old. It took me till my 50s and 60s to figure out a lot of the lessons that she learned in her 20s and is sharing in her article. And I think it's, it's, it's whether you believe it or agree with all the things right now, to read them and be exposed to them, whatever age you are, is a good thing. Now, to carry one's cross or to, uh, this is an old expression. It, of course, comes from the Bible and Jesus' crucifixion. And there's a little debate over whether he carried his own cross the whole way or whether he had help and or whether soldiers actually ordered Simon uh, the Sinina or whatever to carry and help Jesus carry his cross. I think that probably there's, there's both accounts are true and I'm not sure if soldiers ordered him or not, but he did help carry Jesus's cross. But basically Jesus had to carry his own cross. And that reminds us that our problems, our burdens, our experiences, our challenges are for us. They, they're for us and they're a reason they come into our life and not someone else's. There's a reason that we need to figure them out. There's a reason we need to figure out our own, you know what, our own stuff. So how we handle that, we talked about in Supersize Your Business, how we handle that shows everybody who we are and where we are in our business journey. We think that, <coughs> and I was guilty of this too, think that sometimes, oh, if I just had more sales, if I just had more money, if I just had a bigger business, if I just went up, you know, $100,000 a month, everything would be solved. The truth is, if you learn this through reality and experiencing it, you still have problems. You still have challenges. They're just different. They're just bigger. You go from, you know, hundred and thousand dollar challenges to ten thousand, hundred thousand million dollar challenges and problems, and you just figure it all out, right? Because it's our journey. It's our responsibility. And I like to think of it. It's my opportunity and responsibility, not my burden or my problems or uh, things that I have to, to figure out and deal with. It's all lessons learned. So that is our quick rundown and overview for today. I have a sleepover with my amazing six-year-old granddaughter last night, so we're spending the day together. She's off school, which is awesome. I'm glad she has a good Friday off, and we're going to have fun. We're going to go make Lucky Charms pancakes for breakfast and surprise everybody so if i can help you anyway ask otherwise have an absolutely awesome day and holiday weekend here at least here and depending on your religious beliefs when and where you celebrate i think orthodox easter is next weekend but whatever have an awesome day